When I was growing up, actually, they had this dude my dad knew named Cinnamon Wilson. And this guy, I hadn't thought about this guy in forever. When I was a child, um, Cinnamon Wilson was this dude. He he would let us like kind of like, I guess, lick a little bit of cinnamon out of his hand because we didn't always have cinnamon. Now, you know, I'm living in a, you know, a different world these days. I got cinnamon at the house. But when I was young, we had, you know, we didn't have as much cinnamon as we wanted. And cinnamon now, kids are screwing around. They're doing cinnamon challenges and they're hiding, you know, hiding cinnamon between their, you know, their buttocks and stuff like that. And, and staring into the sun and just doing wild, you know, unnecessary tricks. But when I was young, you didn't get cinnamon all the time. You had you didn't have as many flavors. You had orange, grape, you know, peppermint. You could get that anywhere. But cinnamon, that was a special flavor. And my dad's buddy, Cinnamon Wilson, bro, or Mr. Wilson, but we called him Cinnamon Wilson. He put a little bit of cinnamon in his hand. I guess he would maybe wet his hand or something, either, you know, lick it or cry into it a little bit. And then he would put some cinnamon in there, and he'd hold the cinnamon down by us. While he was talking to my dad, he let us lick it out of his hand. And he was gentle, you know. He had those big, soft, senior citizen hands. You know, because my dad at that time, my dad was probably 75 years old. So all of my dad's friends were 75. And, man, if you were licking cinnamon off of his hand, it felt... I mean, it almost was like a cake. Sometimes you almost wanted to just bite right into his damn hand meat, like it was a coffee cake or something. And he'd be real chill about it. And he wasn't a pervert or anything like that. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't, you know, you didn't see his pants, you know, expounding in the front or any, you know, he wasn't touching your hair, or trying to steal a little, you know, cut part of your hair off and keep it at his house or anything wicked. He was just, he liked giving things to people, I guess. And he was a bird trainer, too, and he also had birds all the time. So he was used to feeding you something out of, out of his hand. So he, you know, he sometimes he'd, you fuck up. He'd reach in his pocket, and next thing you know, you got, you know, you got a mouthful of, uh, you got a mouthful of bird seed. You're like, fuck, I thought I was getting, you know, some of that tasty sweet powder, that cinnamon, baby. Because cinnamon was, when I was young, cinnamon was brand new. Now cinnamon's old hat. Now they got all kind of new stuff. Kratom and these kids are on, uh, you know, uh, what else? Jinko Biloba, all of that. You know, um, what else are kids doing nowadays? Tangerine. They didn't have that shit when I was young. When I was young, we had more, you know, cinnamon was a new, something brand new. So if you saw Mr. Wilson and he fucking hit you with that low palm, you know, hand down with a little... And you'd go over there and you'd just get you a couple of fucking tongue whips of that cinny mom. And then the other kids would see you get it. My brothers and sisters would see me get it, and they'd want to get a little hit of it. So it was pretty fun. It was like a fun game. But he was a bird trainer, and he would train birds, you know? And he, well, I guess he didn't train them really, but he would, like, feed them and just look at them for a long time, you know? But some people call him trained. And uh, and he ate a lot of bird eggs, too. That's one thing about the man when I look back on him. Because he passed now. He's with Christ or whomever he, you know, whomever he favors. But he, dude, he'd have all kind of, he, he I'll say this. He was doing stuff he shouldn't have been doing with the bird eggs. Because he'll have a, he'll have a damn nightingale omelet. Like, what the hell is that? I don't think, I think, you know, you're not supposed to have that. And you go over there, and he'd have a damn duck omelet. Like, what the fuck? Because I grew up, where I'm from, you just have chicken omelets. In Vietnam and some places like that, they got the, you know, they have the balut duck eggs. They got all those Fear Factor snacks and stuff like that, that Fear Factor breakfast buffet. People out there drinking fucking, you know, quarts and quarts of uh, rhinoceros semen. But I don't... Dude, we weren't drinking big animal semen in our area. When I was growing up, we had regular shit. But he would have, that's one thing in hindsight he shouldn't have been doing probably with some of those birds is harvesting their eggs and making, you know, unique or extracurricular style omelets. Because you'd see that dude, he'd be having a fucking, you know, tomato and sparrow omelet. You're like, what the fuck is that? 
He's over there really harvesting. Did you enjoy that clip? Well, uh, you really would have enjoyed it if you was watching on a TCL TV. TCL is America's fastest growing TV brand. It's so fast, it's the Carl Lewis of television brands. It's that uh, Florence Griffith visual joiner. It's celebrating its fifth anniversary from launching in the U.S. markets. I have one of these at home, and these suckers are just, I mean, it's like having a Mona Lisa on your wall that plays everything you want. Follow TCL at TCL underscore USA on Twitter and Instagram for more details. For more information about TCL, visit TCLUSA.com. That's TCLUSA.com.